So this is going to be a really quick video about the Lamy All-Star fountain pen and rollerball clip. Here's a clip. Here's the cap. And it's a really confusing mechanism. Uh, and I've had gotten a few questions about it. I took mine apart just to see after I sort of bent the clip by accident. It seemed like a good chance to experiment a little bit. Uh, if you have the pen, you'll see that it has a little piece like this on the top. It looks like a screw. It's not a screw. It's actually a cross or an X that just indicates that you have the fountain pen. If you have the rollerball, it'll be like a little line or a dot or something like that. But on the fountain pen, it looks like a screw. So everyone tries to unscrew it, but it's not actually a screw. If you take it apart, you'll see that this little rivet right here is not threaded. It's actually just popped in to this brass piece here. The confusing part is that the brass piece is threaded. So people take it apart and they think it's a screw, but it won't screw back in. Basically, there's these little, little uh, pieces that stick out on there, those little uh, extensions, holes, arms, whatever you want to call it, on this rivet piece. And they're pushed in to this piece of brass. And that is how everything is held together. Once you remove this, this piece is uh, no longer useful. It's, it's no good. And you basically can't get the clip back together. So you really don't want to take apart the clip or the cap on your Lamy All-Star. Older models, years ago, like, you know, I think pre-2015 or something like that, this plastic piece was actually threaded, but it's no longer threaded. You can see the breast piece, I believe, is unchanged. That's why these threads are here. But now it's just a press fit. And if you do remove it, you will, uh, first of all, if you try to spin it, it'll just turn in here. And you'll probably is did that, and that's how you found this video. Then if you pry it out, like I did, you'll strip this black thing. So uh, you're kind of out of luck there. If you do want to get it back together and just glue it in place or put a couple pieces of uh, paper in there and then slam it together to kind of approximate a fit, the system is pretty simple. You have the cap here. The cap has a little uh, clutch in here. That's what holds the pen in place. So you can see it sliding back and forth on it. And it kind of here doesn't want to come out anymore which it's still attached to the clutch was this clutch which is a plastic piece it really should be here at the top but when you pull it like this it goes down to here that's why it's releasing at the pop at the bottom instead of right here see listen to it pop out pop in so here's the clutch and now instead of staying in place the clutch is pulling pop out but so what you want to do is uh, push that clutch back and just use some, I'm just using a pen refill or something like that. Just push it back. It, it won't take any pressure. Uh, now we want to get this brass piece in here and the brass piece goes in skinny side first. So just drop it in. Uh, and you probably won't get it on the first try. There's no guarantee it's going to stay. You need a little, just a skinny pen refill. Knock it out. And again, skinny side down, the flat side up. Uh, you can't see that. Looks good though. And then you can kind of just tamp it down a little bit. Then you can put the pen in here. You don't want to use the pen to push it through because it'll apply too much pressure and you could damage the nib. But you can see the skinny side is up. It lines up really well with that hole there. And uh, you actually, you know what I messed up. You want to now pull back a little bit. So instead of it here, get it right here because these clips have to go in. It's hard to do with one hand and a camera in front of you, but these clips go in. They go around the brass piece and I'll push that up. And now the brass piece is like the clip is around the brass piece here and the brass won't go up any further the way it did before. Now is when at the factory they would have stamped this plastic piece in and locked it in place. Uh, but you could see right now if I were to remove the pen and pull this, it's still loose. Even with the pen in there, it's tight, but I'm putting pressure on the pen. So uh, basically the mechanism is broken. You could uh, crazy glue this all together. 
And to do that, you'd want to, don't use the pen in there, get something to apply pressure to the back. Like I had this pen refill. Take this piece out and you can see it's nice and close to there. Not touching, but it's pretty close. On the Safari, they use a little plastic or a little rubber grommet to keep it all together, but they don't do that in the All-Star. I'm not sure why. It would make this whole situation fit a little bit better. And what you could do is, I haven't really experimented with this much, but you can get a scrap of, uh, usually scotch tape works the best for this. Uh, and I won't cut this down to size, but we could see this little piece of paper or tissue or something like that. And if you pop it in, and again, you have to maintain pressure here, so you're just not pushing the brass piece back. If you pop it in, and then you might be able to catch those threads, but now you have something actually to grab the threads, which is that piece of tissue, paper, or tape, or whatever. And now the clip is on there okay. It's still a little bit loose, uh, so maybe you want to use some glue or epoxy to hold it in. Uh, but if you are applied too much pressure, you know, it's pretty good. You don't want to wrench it, so it'll come, it'll come out. But again, this is just with a normal piece of notebook paper and a little bit of pressure on video. If you were to sit down and do two pieces of paper and a little bit of glue or something like that, then your clip would probably be as good as it's gonna get. But realistically, once you remove this black piece, uh, it's never gonna be as good as it was from the factory. And just, unfortunately, that's how Lamy designed it. And it's, uh, it's not great, but it's still a good pen. Otherwise, you just, you really don't wanna remove the clip. So that should cover it. Thanks for watching.